Welcome to the first part of the series. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up a VPS. If you don't know, a VPS is a virtual private server. It's basically a computer you rent and you can use to host your servers 24-7. If you don't need to host your servers 24-7 or don't wish to do so with a rented machine, you can skip this video. The VPS provider I'll be going with is HostHatch. In my research, they provide a good balance between performance, space, and price. I also like that they're transparent about shared resources. To start, I registered on HostHatch and then I clicked Create Server. I select the region I want as well as the Compute VMs. I recommend the $12 option, but you can try cheaper options if you'd like. It's very quick to upgrade and won't cost anything extra. Next up, I recommend pre-installing your VPS with a Linux distribution. In my case, I choose Ubuntu. Fill out the rest of the information, then pay for your VPS. Once everything has gone through, you'll see your machine on the Servers tab. Go ahead and click it, then head over to the Images tab. This tab will give us some options to boot into a live rescue machine, which we're going to use to install Windows. I recommend choosing Gparted Live, but any Debian-based system should work fine. Mount the image and head over to the console. Here you can watch it boot up. If you have any issues, just refresh the page. We've made it to the Gparted boot menu. Choose all the default settings unless you need something different. The first thing you'll see is the Gparted software. We don't need this, so go ahead and close it. Now we need to download Windows. The internet isn't working on this machine yet, so we'll launch the network config software and choose the default settings. Now the internet should be working fine. There's one more thing we need to do before we can download Windows. Oftentimes, live rescue systems don't give you much disk space to use, so we'll need to enter this command in order to expand it. All commands are in the description. Now we can open the web browser and download Windows. The link for this is in the description. Unfortunately, you may have to type the URL manually. In order to install Windows, we need to figure out what our main disk device is. We can do this by using the list block devices command, or lsblk. In my case, VDA is my main disk drive. You can tell because it shows at the top of the devices list. Yours may be different, so write it down because you'll need it for the next command. Here, when I type in the capital V22, I press tab to autocomplete the file name. At the end of this command is where I put VDA, but you'll put whatever your main disk device was instead. After entering this command, it will seem like nothing is happening. Please be patient and the command will complete. Once it is done, unmount the Gparted Live system and reboot your VPS. Now we can connect to our VPS using the Remote Desktop protocol. Click your start button and type in RDP to find the program. Here we'll enter the IP of the VPS. Then we'll type in colon 19529. By default, the username is administrator and the password is changemeasap1. Like it suggests, we need to change this password as soon as possible to prevent anyone unwanted from connecting. As you can see, our VPS is now running Windows. To change our password, we first need to open up Command Prompt. 
With command prompt open, we'll type in net user administrator, then our password. The password can be lowercase letters, uppercase letters, and numbers. I don't recommend trying any other characters because I once used an escape character and got locked out of my machine. And now we need to activate our windows. Otherwise it's going to restart itself randomly. Thanks Microsoft. The links for the Microsoft activation scripts will be in the description. We'll start by downloading the scripts, then extract it to our desktop. Follow what I'm doing here to launch it. We'll choose extras and change our Windows version from Windows Server Evaluation to regular Windows Server. At this point, you're going to need to restart your VPS. Open the activation scripts back up. Choose the KMS38 option. And now our Windows is activated and ready to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. In the next one, I'm going to show you how to get your VPS ready for CCGM.